Hello, my sweet babies. How's everyone doing this Saturday morning? I'm going to make sure I got y'all so you can see what I'm doing. Get y'all in there. I don't know if it'll focus this close. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Get you just a hair. Oh, there we go. Yay. Y'all are right on it, baby dolls. Let me get some light. There we go now. Okay, dokie. I had a lot of comments on uh, wanting to know how I made this. Out of this light bulb mode. So, y'all are never going to guess. You're never going to guess how I did it. I'm going to move that so it'll focus on this. Okay. Y'all remember the blessing box that Miss Stacy sent me, right? Well, do y'all remember the tumbler shields that was in there? Remember these? The tumbler shields. I took the littlest one and I put it in my mold. Just like that. Now, I'm, I took my UV, I love this stuff, my UV sealer and I put it around the bottom of this. Okay, and then I UV'd it to this, so it would, the resin wouldn't go under it, under the thing, my dangy. Let me get me some tape, because I think it's some stuff on there. So, I started looking at these things, and I'm like, oh, I need to make a tumbler, and I want to, I want to so bad. Miss Debbie and Miss Stacy has just done got me inspired on making a tumbler. I still want to do the prayer box. Oh, let me show y'all what I found to go on top of the prayer box. Y'all tell me, is this not perfect for the top of the prayer box? Is that not perfect? Is it not? Look at that. Ain't that just beautiful? That'd be pretty on top of that prayer box. That's what's going to go on top of it. So anyway, y'all know I'm bipolar. I skip around. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I skip around. Don't pay attention to these nails. God bless it. I, gel nail polish does not stay on my nails long. They chip and everything else. So I want to get this clean. Make sure there's no uh, resin on it from last time. That way I know it's going to seal. Okie dokie. I think I see it. Alright. Now then, I'm going to put it like this. Put my UV sealer on it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to seal this booger down, babies. Look at here. Look at that. Look at that. But I was like, yeah, I want to make a tumbler. And Miss Stacy sent me these tumbler shields. And I got to looking at them and looking at these light bulb molds. I said, oh, gee. My whole plan changed. It went to making a shaker. Shaker mold. I'm, I don't know why I keep saying mold. A shaker ornament. It's weird how you have something in your mind that you want to do. And I had my tumbler all figured out. You know how I wanted to do it. And then this popped. This popped right in my big old head. Just make sure you got it around this edge real good. And watch it not work this time. You know, when you're sitting by yourself and you're testing stuff and to see if it'll work, it works. Then you cut the camera on and nothing goes like it's supposed to go. Yeah, well, we're going to try it. Okay, we're going to do it again. I think that's plenty, my Lord. I'm just covering it, covering, covering. I'm just going to pull it to the edge. It's going to push down anyway. So, all right, darlings. 
Let's get it flipped. Now I'm going to eyeball the center. Mm-hmm. I'm going to eyeball it. Now you can move it until you hit it with that light. And when you hit it with that light, baby, that's going to be it. I'm going to give it a little bit of pressure. And then I'm going to hit it without moving it, I hope. There we go. And it might be, I pray it's not crooked. Kind of looks all right. I'm just going to do it. God bless. Then I'm going to move my big boondock hand and flip the mold over and do it underneath. That way I know I've got a good seal, you see. Who would have thunk it? To use a tumbler shield to make a shaker mold. Who would have thunk it? Wanda. Wanda would have thunk it. I think you see it. I think that's it, babies. Around the edge. All right. All right. Now, I'm going to turn it over. And we're going to hit the bottom. Just to make sure it's in there. I don't see any gaps. So I'm guessing it's sealed pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hope I ain't making y'all dizzy. I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough. Alright, now then. What else you're going to need is a piece of acrylic sheet. You know, it comes in, I got this right here. This is a um, 39 piece plastic for resin shakers. I reckon there's resin shakers in with it. And it comes with needles and some syringes and a whole bunch of plastic. Look at that. A whole bunch of it. And it came with hmm, something else. Oh, yeah. It came with three of these spoons. Look at that. Ain't that great? Okay. Now. So you're going to need one of these. Okay. Now I'm going to mix my resin up. And I'll be back. All right, babies. Got it mixed up. So I'm going to be using this gorgeous Crushed Crystal by Unicorn Art. This is just some, oh, it's beautiful. Now, it flies around, so be careful. Ain't that gorgeous? I love it. Now, I'm going to take this little spoon here and get me just a, one heap. That's all I want. That's all I want. I mixed up 100 meal, which I think is three ounces, I believe. Now, not for sure, but I think that's what it is. Now then, that being said, whatever you want to put in your shaker, baby, put it in there. Whatever color, if you want it a different color, whatever you want in the shaker part, put it in there. Put it in there, honey. Oh, God. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Love the stuff. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in the middle of this one yet, but I'll have it figured out when I come back. And I'm using Super Clear Resin 1 to 1. 25 or 30 minute working time. I'm not sure. It's not that long. Might be 20. It's in between 20 and 30, okay? Got that gorgeousness mixed up. There we go now. Now I'm just going to pour around the edge and up in here. If I can because my cup is full. God bless it. Let me pour me a little bit in here. That way I won't spill. Too bad. Now we're just going to pour around this tumbler shield. Okay. Pour around. Sure you get off up in there. And I have my mat on. And I have it wide open. 
it pops my bubbles, you know, makes the bubbles come to the top. So, there we are with that. And I mixed up way too much resin. Now, the directions say put it right in the middle of the mat. So, this where's that. Now, let me get a paper towel. And, on my video of these, oh, let me show y'all what I did. Y'all remember I put my, my ornament wrong. Which, that's pretty. It's still a pretty side. But, look, I put stickers on the front. I put a little reindeer on that one. Ain't it cute? And I put a snowflake on that one. And I put a ribbon on that one. And I put a Christmas tree on that one. Ain't that just cute? I thought it was so cute. All right, darlings. I'm going to let this do its thing. And I'm going to get Miss uh, Stacy off up in this doggone monkey coconut. Because I sure forgot it yesterday. I forgot Miss Stacy. Oh, Lord Jesus. You know this brain of mine, honey. Mm -mm. Know this thing. All right, let that sit there. I'm gonna get this off this mat because I don't want it to cure. I'm gonna make me some beads. Ooh, let me get the beads. Let me get my bead nose. Y'all might wanna. I love making beads. Make me some little skeletons. Let me just get a bunch of them out because I'm sure. Oh, yeah, Miss Brenda sent me this. Y'all remember that? I'm going to put a little bit in there. That's cute. All right, I'm going to put my molds on my mat and let them heat up where they'll be warm when I put my resin in there. Okay? Mm. Now, let's get Miss Stacy in this monkey coconut. Honey, darlings, where is my pan? Come on. Come on. Y'all, do y'all ever just get the urge, like a real bad urge, you want to go to the Dollar Tree? Ha! I got it. I want to go right now. Miss Stacy. Miss Stacy. I bet she was like, oh, she forgot to put me in that doggone monk of coconut. Caesar Sam go. Now, when we come back, we'll have us some beads and all kinds of stuff. Look at there, Miss Stacy. There you go, baby. There you go. Miss Stacy sent me this black foil, remember? I can't wait to use it. Oh, I can't wait to use it. I can't wait. Here you go, Miss Stacy. Let me raise you up just a hair. Look at that. Look at that, my coconut. Here you are. Here you go. Get you in there. You in there, Miss Stacy May. There you are, baby. You're off up in the monkey coconut, baby. Look at them eyes. <laughs> I love that monkey coconut. All right, darlings. I'll be back, okay? When it gets all good and cured. And then I'll show you the next step. All right? All right, love my saints. It's ready. I had my mat on two hours. Came in here and cut it off and let the mat cool for 30 minutes. Let me get me some alcohol because some kind of way I got doggone. I guess I touched it with my glove. Got resin on my arm on my chair. Alright, here we go. Now, what I do next is I demold it. First, let me see if this is, yeah. I was making sure that's not sticky. I love this doggone mat. God, this mat is a game changer. Honey, darling, don't you ain't got to wait long. Now, pull this out. Pull that off. Got a little over pour, not much. A little bit, though. A little bit there. So, just going to give that a little pull. Get that off. Just a little film. All right. Now then, what I did next was, oh, God, I took, get off of me, please, get off. 
Okay. I took this from here. If I can get my, my nail under it. Pull up from the bottom, you see. Because, see there, look at that. What? Look at that. Oh my God, look. And you have your light bulb with the hole in it. Let me back you up some because it don't want to back you up just some. Come on here. I guess my battery dead. Let me raise um let me raise this camera up. I'll raise it up just a hair there. There now then. So now you have your mold that has the hole in it, you see. Now then I'm gonna go around this and just scrape it with my nail and get this overpour off. It's very, very thin. So just take your fingernail and just go around it. That's all you gotta do. Okay. All right. Get all that. Now we're going to the next step. Make sure I've got it all. Okay, now back. Here we go. We're through with this. We're done. Let's make sure ain't nothing on here. Okay. Now you want to take your plastic sheets. Now, the plastic sheets has uh, a thing over it. Um, see? It's got a little plastic film over it. Just pull that off. Don't forget to pull it off. You won't be able to see through it. Now, I'm going to turn this upside down. And I'm going to put my plastic on here. And I'm going to take a marker. Hey, God, I thought I had one out. Hold on, babies. All right, darlings. Anyway, this right here is just a Crafter Square metallic marker. White. All right. Now, I want to go a little bit wider. Just a little bit wider than the, the ring. Okay. Look at that. So, I'm just going to go outside the ring. With my marker. And it's going to be a little wibble wobbly. Oh! A little wibbly wobbly. Because you can always cut it off. And just go around the inside of this ring. Look at that, would you? Yeah. I don't have a steady hand. As y'all see. So, there we go with that. Now, while I got this. This one's going to be the same size, you see. So, I need two, two circles. So, I'm going to lay this one on this one. And do me another one. Okay? Because you got to have plastic on each side to have a shaker. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Alright. Now, we're going to take some sharp scissors. Dollar Tree. Make sure. Mm, I guess that'll do. I'm not end up going to cut it. Now, I hadn't took the plastic film off of this one. And I'm just going to cut. Now, I had to do this two times on the other one because I cut it too, uh, too much. And it didn't fit my circle. Yeah. So anyway, I'll put everything that I'm using down in the description. Okay, babies. Uh-oh. See, I think I cut that one too short. Let's just see. Let's just see, honey babies. It's going to be a little warpy. A little warpy. Mm-hmm. A little warpy. Oh, yeah. That's good. That right there has got to go, but... Hey, it's good. Let's cut this one.
All right, baby dolls. Put that over there. And then I'm going to take some alcohol. And I'm going to wipe this up on the front and get that marker off. All right. Got to pull the film off of this. Oh, it's on this side. Okay. Now y'all know what I'm going to do, don't you? I'm going to UV it. Now, this is the back. <laughs> so we're going to do the back first. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bead of UV resin around it. But this right here needs to be trimmed. If you see where it needs to be trimmed at, just uh, make sure I got it on here good. It's touching all the way around. You know what? I think I'm just going to leave it because I don't want to mess up. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to get me some of this here. And I'm just going to go around the ring. Just this rim part. It's going to be kind of hard. I should use my, my what you call brush. around the ring oh god come on baby all right let's see what we got put it down now if you mash it if you mash it down you can see if you got a a hole anywhere just push it down on there Mm -hmm. I think it's good. I think. I think that's going to be it. So I'm fitting to hit it. Look at that though. That's on the other side. And it's going to cure, but I think it'll peel off. Um, where's my light? Here it is. Please let me have it on here good. I'm just going to hit it. Please. Please. Give it a push down. Make sure. Oh, God. Look what I did, y'all. Oh, my God. Stop. Mm. Oh, Jesus. I told y'all, didn't I? I told y'all. I'll do a video on it. It ain't going to work. I just knew it. Okay. I think that's good. Now, once you get that UV'd, you're going to flip it over and do the other side. Same way. Since this plastic is clear, that light goes right through it. Now, don't worry if you have any holes, because you can put UV in there and seal it again, because nothing's going in, in that, you see. Okay. You can do either side you want. Alright, I think it's going to be good. Now, let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trying to see if I see any gaps. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to go around the inside with it, too. Just to make sure. Now, on the first one I made, I poured alcohol in here to see if I had any leaks. You can do that too. Mm -hmm. And it'll also clean your plastic for you. Like that. I'm going to get me a little bit of Ikey. I'm going to get this a little white. Now, don't push hard. Look at that. That's over. Over. Don't push hard. Give it a good clean. Give this back side a good clean. Mm -hmm. Get off of there now. We don't need you. Okay? There we go. There we go. Oh, God. 
All right, is that on this side or the other side? I think it's on the other side. So let's clean this other side here. Light pressure. You don't want to push your plastic off. And there you go. Now, I know I got some UV right here. And I'm scared to push it because I'm scared I'm gonna. But I gotta get it off. It's driving me nuts. If I got a leak, I'll just have to reseal it. No biggie. Oh, yeah, much better. Y'all, I'll be finagling with this thing all day, I'm telling you. Because I want it clean. I don't want anything on it. And I, do I see it? Uh oh, uh oh. What's that? That's on the inside. Okay. Check for gaps. Just lightly push. Lightly. And you'll see if you have any gaps anywhere. Hopefully. Hopefully. Now if you want to, you can put a bead of UV right here. And that'll keep it from leaking. Let me get my little dim flicker here. Because here goes a piece. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a fiddle. There we go. Let's get that out. I think I am. I think I'm just going to put a little bead. Just a little bead. I might better use my brush because it comes out of that pretty good. Where is it? Now, if you don't have one of these brushes, then just... Uh, Get you a, a old fingernail polish bottle. See, put your put your little swipe around there. I can't even hold the brush. Now then, there we go, there we go little machines, and hit it with your light, okay, that's easy peasy. Hit it with your light. And now that should be sealed in there pretty good. Pretty good. Now let me show y'all what I'm going to use for my filler. Let me get this uh, close up. I am going to be using Glitter Makes It Let It Snow Pearl. Oh, look at those. They're snowflakes. <laughs> They're pretty too. They are pretty, pretty. I just want to make sure this is good and sealed. I probably do it too much. I probably do. I don't see any gaps. So, <sighs> I didn't see any on my first one either. And when I turned it up, the baby oil came. Here it comes, just a little old beady hole. Little beady little gap. But anyway, there you go. That. I know, I run my mouth too much. I'm sorry. I know. And there we are. Okay. That should be plenty. Give it another little wipe. Oh, God. I can't stop wiping it. But I want it clear because once I... Oh, please, please. 
I'm sorry guys. Fast forward, honey. Just just fast forward. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna quit finagling. I promise. Okay now then. I ain't gonna finagle no more. That's it. But I can't stand that doggone little piece on there. It's driving me crazy. Oh please. Alright, I'm gonna pause y'all. I'll be back. All right, babies. God bless it. I think I, I got it. I think I got it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I hate that I I'm, I'm just have to have everything. <laughs> Sometimes I have to have everything just so-so. Now and then, we're just going to put us some snowflakes inside this one. And these are so pretty. I can keep them in there. Come on, honey. Look how pretty off in that jar. Oh. Now, you don't want to put too many. I put too many Santa Claus heads in there, but I thought it was just so doggone cute. But you want enough. You know what I'm saying? God. Alright, I think that's going to be... I think that'll do it. I'm going to put one more. Oh, God. There we go now. There we go now. That's enough. Okay. Now, next step is you put your other piece of plastic on top. Just like this. Now, this is going to be hard to see, guys. Because, now you want to leave a little opening. Just a little one that you can stick your little thing in there. Oh my god, there's something on it. And, uh, okay. Okay, I'm going to lay that right there. Now I'm going to just take this again and go around the edge of this. Don't matter if it goes down the sides, okay? It don't matter because you can UV it, honey. I'm just going to dabble. Now if I don't leave a little spot, it's not going to hurt. I can pull it up. But I'm going to try to remember to leave a little spot. If y'all don't have this UV varnish sealer in your art collection, you need to get some. You need to get some, baby. And if you have a, a doll mold and whatever you pull out of that doll mold, you know your creation is going to be dull. You can take this UV varnish sealer and paint, take the brush and paint it and it'll be shiny. Honey, baby, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it'll make it shiny for you. Sure will. And I might make this video a premiere. But it takes my Wi-Fi so long to upload a freaking video. I finally, y'all, got a tag on my door for the fast internet. They are through. Now all I got to go do is get it. Make sure I got a good bit. That ought to do. Oh my God, I forgot to leave my hole. I bet y'all screaming, Wanda, you forgot to leave your hole, girl. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this right here. <gasps> Get your little thing on there. Make sure it is touching all sides. And I think it is. I think it's. Let me turn it just a little bit. There we go. Mm -hmm. Turn it a little bit more. Okay. I think that's going to do. Oh, God. I 
I think that's going to do. So I'm just going to hit it. But let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to place my finger on each end. Just like that. Just to hold it. Push, push, push. Here comes the test to see if I have any leaks. Now y'all see where that uh, shield was sitting in this circle? That's dull. So what I'm going to do is paint that too and hit it with this light. And then when I come back, we're going to add our oil. I'm thinking I could have put some more than flakes in there. Doggone it. I think I could. But it's okay. It's okay. They'll just float float around better, won't they? All right. Okay, I'm finagling again. All right, I'm going to take my this right here, and I'm going to make this rim shiny, and I'll be back. And it won't just make it shiny. It'll give your plastic an extra seal. See what I'm saying? In case you got a gap somewhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, this would be pretty done in a blue glitter, wouldn't it? Yeah, see? This is your extra seal. And plus it makes it shiny around the edge. There you are. Now I'm going to put the oil in from the back, I guess. All right, I'm going to hit this. And when it's good and cured up, I'll be back, babies. All right, all right, love bugs. Here we go. Now, this is just baby oil. And with it's got this little thing on it. I put some baby oil off in there. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to try to go under like a side that, like this one up here. Let's go up under this. See if we can get up under here. Because it's just UV holding it down. I'm just going to pull it just a little if I can. Now, this is how I did the other one. I just pulled it just a little. Now, it's better just to um, leave a gap. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Got it. I got it, babies. Now, stick your little thing in there. And you're going to want to fill it up. Now, here comes the test. Oh, holy mess. Can y'all see it? It's filling up. Here we go. Now, some people use that vegetable stuff. Use whatever you want. I'm going to turn it this away so it'll fill up where the hole is. And then I'm going to take my UV and brush it right back on there and seal it. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm not going to go all the way. So there's going to be a little bubble in there. Okay, see that little bubble? But, that's okay. Let me get this open. I don't know why I shut it. But I did. But I did. I think I made my gap too big. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think I did, babies. Come on. Come on. I'm going to go right under here and hope. Baby oil, don't keep it from sealing. Just like that. Just like that. I'm going to have to wipe it off again. God bless it. Seal, honey. Go on seal now. Act like you got some sense. Because we are ready to shake it. Let's see what we got. I think it's going to seal. It's going to seal, baby dolls. I'm going to put a little bit more and prop it up right there so y'all can see what I'm doing. Because I think, I think it came undone right here. Okay. Put 
string that. We're almost there. We are almost there. I don't see any leaks anywhere else. I don't see any baby oil on my table. Oh, so maybe it worked. I hope. Okay, here we go. The test. The test. The test. Oh. Is it going to float? Oh, there it goes. Look at it. I'm going to put too much in there. Doggone. Didn't put enough in the other one. But anyway, y'all get the gif. Look, no leaks. Yay! No leaks. That's it, darlings. And you have yourself a shaker mug. A shaker ornament. Look at that. I think I'm going to take some of that baby oil out. It's making me mad. But there you go. There you are. That big old bubble's about to drive me nuts. Y'all know it, don't you? That bubble. I can't stand it. Give it a shake a shake. What y'all think, loves? What do you think, babies? What do you think? That's the back. I love those snowflakes. How pretty it is. And easy. All you got to do is get you a tumbler shield if you don't already have one. You know, this goes inside your tumbler to keep resin from going in it. That's right. So let me know what y'all think. That bubble. Oh, my Lord, that bubble. I might have to work on it. But anyway, when it's hanging, you won't see the bubble. See, it's up here at the top. Cute. Cute as pie. Put anything you want in there. All right, darlings, I love y'all, and thank y'all for watching. I do appreciate it so very much, and uh, thank y'all for using my affiliate links. Thank y'all for subscribing to my new subscribers. I appreciate it so much. Now, y'all are a part of the best YouTube family there is. Yes, you are, because everybody on here will love you to pieces, and they will pray for you. It's just the sweetest babies ever telling you so welcome and um i'm gonna get a prayer card and we're gonna do the daily prayer and then i'm gonna post this and i think i'm gonna do it as a premiere <gasps> do it as a premiere that way if y'all have any questions oh another thing i ordered a bag i ordered good god bless it i or I ordered one to stop Slow your roll. I bought a bag of jewelry from Goodwill because it had a lot of jewelry in there that had beads, and I wanted them beads. So, I don't know, I done went bead crazy. So, um, I was going through the bag. It was like a, a gallon size um, bag full of jewelry, costume jewelry and all that. But this right here was in there. This is a rosary, right? If anyone watching this is a Catholic, please let me know and I will send this to you. I'll send it to you. It says, I am a Catholic. In case of accident, notify a priest. So, if anybody is watching this channel and you are a Catholic, send me an email, baby, and I will mail this to you. Okay, I just, I cannot, I can't uh, take it apart. I just can't do it. I can't take it apart. So, please let me know, honey. Let me know. Okay? And I'll mail this right to you. All right, darling, let's get the prayer card. Here we go. Prayer cards. I love prayer cards. Yes, I do. Let me know what you think about my little shaker. I like it. But I don't know. Here's the Santa. Hmm. I don't know which one I like the best. It's raining, y'all. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Because it was just so stuffy hot. It was stuffy. But muggy and all that. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? We know 
that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Amen. We know that those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen, baby. Let's see what this one says. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. I needed that one. I needed that one. Thank you, Jesus. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. <laughs> Amen. That's rain, cookie dog. It's rain. It's rain, cookie dog. Chill out, cookie dog. Chill out. All right, let's do the blessing board. Okay. On the blessing board for September is Miss Tazalyn Silvercat, Miss Betty Nicholson, Miss Stacy Snorf, and Miss Deborah Joe. Shout outs, Cosmic Carol Creations, India Brady Art, Art by Me by Andrew Walker, Cabbage Patch Soap, Beaten Crazy Custom Creations, and Tiger Moth Creations, and Billy Holman Creations. I knew I was forgetting somebody. Okay, on the continue prayers for Miss Stacy's mama and Miss Stacy's friend Dave. Uh, Miss Carol, she has Cabbage Pack. I've uh, Cabbage Pack, so Lord Mercy, Cabbage Pack got me on her mind. Cosmic Carol Creation, she has that channel, and she had a bad fall, baby, so let's send prayers to Miss Carol, okay? Send Miss Prayers to Miss India for her eye. Uh, Miss Christina Hutchinson's daughter is having a baby in February, and it's a high risk pregnancy, so please let's send prayers for uh, Miss Christina's daughter, okay, darling? And continue prayers for Miss Rose and her mama. Okay, babies. All right. Now, who bought me a coffee in August is Miss Barb Ridings, Miss Jennifer Meeks, Miss Betty Nicholson, Miss Vicki Bowers, Miss Brenda Henderson, Hickerson, Miss Margaret Woods, and Miss Maura Sharp, and Miss Maya, her grandbaby. Yeah. Thank y'all very much for everything. I appreciate y'all so much. I know I say it all the time, but I just, I mean it. I want y'all to know just how much I love y'all and how much I mean it. Okay? Let me know about this. Any Catholics? Okay? And I love y'all and I'll see y'all on the next video. And I think I'm going to do this as a premiere. Because it's storming outside and I don't think it's going to let me go live. Doggone it. Because my Wi-Fi sucks when I try to go. It may not even upload this video. You know what I'm saying? It may take forever. So, anyway, that being said, I love y'all, and uh, y'all take care, and God bless each and every one of y'all. Peace, love, prayers, and happiness, babies. Bye!